HDR. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. Hey guys, what's up? So we're gonna get into a little bit of Two Point Hospital. Now, this is something that I previously played on my live stream. But I basically was trying to make sure all of my graphics and everything was the way they should be. Now, I played this for a while. And I got another save file where... It's doing pretty good. So I decided to start this up basically. Does she need the right way? And so I decided to start this up because at first I was going to do Sims. I didn't want. I didn't want to do anything where I'd be too, uh, a little bit too stressed out, but when Sims will be to come, be playing this, Sims, maybe, um, City Skylines now, that's another one that had me irritated for a good little minute, so I'm not going to even lie, I don't know. When I'll be playing City Skylines, but oh, basically games like this, I kind of enjoy playing this because I can sit back and chill. So, the only thing you have to do here in Two Point Hospital is build rooms, employ the staff, and try to. Okay, and try to build your money. That's the only thing you're trying to do. And every time you build a room, which you're, you guys are going to find out, you're going to need a lot of GP offices. A lot. I found that out the hard way. And whenever you are hiring someone for a position, try to make sure instead of trying to go cheap like this where they only have like one qualification and like one star try to go with the best it helps you down in line i find the one hospital is very relaxing to me I'm not going to even lie to you. After dealing with doing things through the day, I like to sit back and kind of chill. So, yeah. This makes things a little bit interesting. Say something. I'm gonna go back up and I'm gonna get a bench now. I'm gonna put a little bench here, a bench there. And what I'm gonna do next is say I have to build a pharmacy now. I'm gonna get the patient to wait while I build the pharmacy. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause because. I'm going to build the pharmacy, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as you go, this list here gets longer and the things that you can do. And I like to work to get the hospital to at least 
one or two stars before I move on. But you can do it the way you see fit. Always add little things into the room. Um, I'll do this here and we're going to need a nurse. So we're going to hire a nurse. That means they can work in the pharmacy. This right here. So you click on that and always make sure that whatever you are hiring them for, they can work in that area. I'm going to go back to item. I'm going to place a bench. There's enough there. I think that I'm going to put can't do that. I guess I'm gonna put snack machine here and the drink machine here. I put a bin in the middle. That's if you it'll end up being where People literally throw trash anywhere and you don't want that to happen. So yeah. So I'm gonna start it back up. Now I don't normally stop it this much. But in the very beginning it's a little bit easier so you won't become overwhelmed. Now I got a couple hospitals that going very good on my other save file but on one of my save files the hospitals are literally out of control and I keep getting a build up of people right here so I'm trying to look to see where I would want to put some type of benches let's see fishing so that's going to be one of my things, trying to find out where to put enough benches. And through these videos, guys, I'm not going to really do that much of editing. I'm just basically going to do, I'll get a higher janitor. Now, also, when you're working with... Get, Dealing with a janitor, especially when your hospital get going, you're going to hire a janitor that deals with ghosts. Oh my God, I know what I did. I'm going to try to build a restroom, but I don't know where I'm going to build it. So, what I'm going to do is I build my bathroom. Over here, I got to build um, I'm going to try to build a staff room. So, let me build a staff room first. How am I going to do this? Maybe I can just pause. And I think I'm going to build. Dance. I really try to get my placement right when it comes to something. You don't want the bathrooms too far away. So. I can put them. here I put it why do I keep calling this the bathroom this staff room I'm not gonna build a, like a huge staff room just because I'm just gonna wait till things get going a little bit here for a plant gonna put a plant in here 
Yeah, that's it. Because we don't have that much staff, so the couch should be just fine. Now, normally, I would build this room bigger. And I would hire, like, a lot of people at one time. But since everything is just now starting out, I'll just let it be like this. Now, when things get going, it's so much better because, hold on, let me read. Okay, that's basically telling you that the drink machines, they have to be restocked by the janitors. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do with this is I'm going to try to build the bathroom or the toilets right here. And I think that'll work. I'll put a dry over there. Think over here. And See if we can add a bin. Bin. And oh, let's try to use them. Nope, I don't think I'm going to be able to add a bin. That sucks. But there's a bathroom. And so, I could put some benches along right here. Because as you guys see, there's one. Diagnosis room. Okay, I'm going to build a diagnosis room. But I'm going to put some benches there. And as you guys get to see, it start being where... Yeah, I told you guys, it said, as the hospital gets busier, queue may start to get longer. We may need to build more GP offices and other rooms. So, what I'm going to do is, let's pause, because I'm kind of confused right now. I'm messing y'all up with this camera rotation, my bad, y'all. I could put something right here. And also, if you click on the floor, you can copy. And if you push Z, that's how you spin everything around. I could put that there. Thank you, man. Minute. And you have to hire they like this janitor here deals with ghosts. Trust me guys, you will need that. Treatment and general practice. And I do need our diagnosis. If I can stick this back here in this little Look, I don't know what this hospital is going to look like once I finish. But it's going to be unique. I know that much. I have everything back in a little nook. I can honestly tell you guys that my other hospitals do not look like this. I forgot. What do you call it? I know the best is... Prestige level, if you guys seen it. If you guys can bring the prestige prestige level up, it's almost like 
that room, you get better results out of that room, if that makes any sense. Yeah, what kind of dog do you need for this room? But it's almost like the more stuff you put in each room, like pictures and the plants and different things like that, the more things you put in the room, the prestige level go up and you have a better chance at people surviving. But yeah. No matter how hard you try, or no matter how hard I try, I always have a couple people that kick the bucket on me. Oh, yeah, we got a good little hospital going. I can honestly say none of my other hospitals look like this. It's, and so I let it go like this for a minute. Okay, so you see that pop up, so I need a nurse in that room. See my nurse in there. And after a while, my doctors are gonna go and start going, well, everybody really is gonna start going in the staff room. And so that's when it gets kind of interesting. Okay, so. Let's get this ward done. I know this is going to be a small ward, but we're going to get this ward done. And when we get to the point, here is, when we get to the point to where a lot of patients start to come in, I just eventually I build a bigger one. So I just do that. We're gonna get a bin, and we're gonna get a plant. Yeah, that's it. And. I think we're gonna need why can I remember I think is it assistant or nurse I'm gonna see see and that's what we start to work with here and I know we're gonna need another GP office because if you don't pay attention to the GP offices, that line starts to back up. And even if they make it in there, it is, you still have everyone kind of sitting around chilling. And I don't like building rooms that fast just because you don't want to put yourself in this type of time crunch. So, yeah. Where you don't build too many rooms, you're trying to find some way to get rid of them, or you end up building on other land. So we're gonna see how that go. And we got a new illness that's bed face. And so we're just gonna wait to see how things are going. Now I like when you make it so far through because you end up in where you can do marketing and so you have people coming in and so that's pretty cool see this here I can hire a doctor oh my gosh now I'm telling you guys where it gets great is when you can to go to build training rooms. When you can start building like the training rooms where you can actually train out um the staff 
I really like that also. Because you can basically start putting, you know, training people to put them in, in places where you want them to be. You want to put us a bin, a fire extinguisher. Now, you always want an extinguisher around. So, if anything catches on fire, you have an extinguisher there. So we're going to build that room. Take. What I'm going to do. Item. And these little posters build attractiveness. So, put them everywhere. Now we're going to end up needing a doctor to go in here. So it's higher. See that doctor is going over there. And see what I hate doing? I hate kind of hiring doctors if they're not qualified which you end up having to do anyway but i hate hiring doctors if they're not qualified because that's when patients end up dying and that sucks Okay, what are we gonna do? Gonna suck, but we're gonna start having to hire more people. But when some people get sick, well, some people get tired. Lightheadedness and have to hire more doctor. And so we don't have a doctor in this GP. We didn't have one in the other one also. That's um, Extra staff, we'll put two in there, and it's only certain rooms you can add extra staff members to. For instance, in the ward, you can add extra staff, but that's the only place so far you can add extra staff. And they asked for this room here, and I don't see anybody using it, so that was kind of nuts. You know, we have a sad patient. So we're going to end up, we're going to need a nurse. There. So we're going to see how that goes. And so we got it. We have a little challenge here. We have to carry three patients with light, light headedness. Want to see how that goes? And we don't have that many patients coming in. And so I'm gonna, after we hear at least one more patient with the light headedness, we're gonna see if any other rooms pop up for us. If not. I'm going to wrap up this one. I just basically wanted to come in, do this video, because I did a live stream and I decided to 
I decided to go back over and just basically create everything over again. So we're going to put a nurse in here. I just wanted to go back over and do everything over again. See, like we have this person that just passed. This is why I said you need a janitor in the place um, that deals with ghosts. Because once they fall dead, he's going to turn into a ghost. And then basically he scares everybody until that janitor comes. And make him go away. I can't believe he didn't pop up. He should be popping up somewhere around here. But basically he turned into a ghost. And scares everyone off. But I didn't want to do. Oh my gosh. He died too. This is horrible. Oh. Two people. So far, dead. In this first episode, thing turned into a ghost for everybody. You take out her little thing, and he sucks him up. And he's still running. Why? I have no clue. Unless there's something there that I don't see. And I would add a little extra things, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now because in items, if you see this down here, where it has the 70, if you scroll all the way down in the items list, if, if and when you start collecting more of those, you can unlock these things down here, but you have to wait to unlock more of those. And so, I like this game here because you have so much more that you can dig into. Um, You can literally, like, leave this hospital and it's going to be so many more pop up. And it's just a good chill game for me. For instance, when I started doing the Sims, I'm going to um be basically making characters building houses and it'll be some gameplay in between but yeah i think building and creating characters is a little bit better in the sims than the gameplay unless you got this whole thought out like challenge and i haven't tried a challenge in a while and so i'm gonna see what happens i'm gonna see if she gets gets cured so yeah wait to see what happens where is she going so she went from diagnosis back over to the GP's office what are they waiting on She's going over there, so let's see if she got this one on her head. So let's see if she's going to go over here. Let's put a picture in here and see what happens. Bring the prestige up a little bit. And we're going to deal with this. But our money is not that horrible. I literally had, I literally got one hospital on my other account that I play the most and it's literally just draining money and so yeah let's see continue I'm not gonna go over to another map and see now it's a care 25 patients so this is where I'm gonna stop it I'll see you guys on the next episode episode two of two point hospital and yeah, we'll just keep going digging a little bit farther and I'll see you guys then.